When you're asked to play the guitar, start simple and maybe play something that's recognizable. When someone asks us to play the guitar, we should have fun with it. This stuff could be played on acoustic guitar, but for me playing electric, just using this Stratocaster, I use this Rev G20 amp all the time. Just a simple crunch setting with a little reverb, that's it. So basically, I'm just playing lead and melody around some simple chords, the chords that we use all the time. And as we're playing the guitar, let's just make it our own. Let's create our own sound, our own style. So let me break down some of these ideas that I did in the intro. D, E. But I use that open E string with the D instead of here. Take your finger off. And I just, I finger the E like this. It's more so I can get to different places if I want. But any way you want to play that E chord is you know, what's ever comfortable. D, E. Create that pulse. D, E bar chords. C, D. Just using these bar chords here. D to E and then C. Then that familiar melody line. All on the D string I'm doing it. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but nine, seven, five, four. Open D back to two. So th then I add the little bass at the E note as I'm doing it. And just do this little walk up four, five, seven, and then slide up to the D note, which is in the twelfth fret of that D string. One more time, full speed. I'm almost randomly throwing this open E in there, but I'm keeping a groove, but check this out. But I'm choking it out as I do it. bit of palm muting here just resting on the on the the bridge here just a little bit just a fun recognizable tune and then this is always a crowd pleaser again using the D the E and D here I, and I just omit the third, this, this note here, this F sharp note, and it becomes a power chord at that point. Full A chord. Then the E minor pentatonic scale.
So three open on the E string, three open on the B string. I'm just alternate picking. And then a half bend. And then pulling off to the open G. And then on two you hit that E note of the D string. Just walking up on the second fret of the A string is that B note, then walking chromatically up from four on the E string. And then you're landing on a B note in the seventh fret of the E string. You can use whatever finger is comfortable, but I, I definitely need my pinky to stretch that. I love playing these tunes with a pulse. It just helps you be creative when you play something. And if you practice like this, you're going to have confidence. When somebody does ask you to play the guitar, you're going to have the confidence to pull it off without hesitating. And you can even go to some simple Jimmy Page style licks. So this is the whole lot of love solo break here. Just hitting that E chord. And again, these are all just simple uh, chords that we use. Uh, the E minor pentatonic connecting and with a little pulse. Up to the first position, 12th fret. Just anchoring right here with that first finger. Full bend on 14 of the G. And then barring B and E with right here in the 12th fret. Then pulling off on the B string from uh, 15 to 12. Then pulling off on the G string, uh, 15, 14 to 12. And then 14 to 12, full bend. Slow. Just running down to the open position. Sliding up to four on the G string. Three on the B. Open E. That's a blues rock lick that's used in many tunes. Then pulling off from uh, three to two on the G. Open G, back to the root note. So far. Do that little flutter there from the two to open on the D string. But it just those two hits in between some of this. Again, in that same position. This time a full bend on 15 and hitting 15 on the E. And then Jimmy Page always mixes that major and minor pentatonic. So. So nine, 12, step and a half bend. So you're going all the way to this B flat note is what you're trying to reach. It's, it's a hard bend, but it sounds great. Nine, 11 on the D, 12, back to 11 on the D, and then back to that root note. 
Everything really centers for me around the root note. Full bend on 12. And then chromatically walk down 12, 11, 10. the same move as we just did in the other lick. I love those two licks. Again, when someone asks you to play the guitar, start simple and have fun with it. Make it your own. But it is always good to play something that's somewhat recognizable, and that will, that will get the party going, I'm telling you right now. As always, thanks for hanging out with me, and let's talk soon.